In this video, we'll graph the linear equation y equals x minus 5. We'll do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, get the corresponding values for y, and then we'll graph those points. Then we'll take a look at slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, to check our work. So I like to start by putting a value of 0 in for x. 0 minus 5, that's minus 5. Then let's put 1. 1 minus 5, that's minus 4. And let's put minus 1. Minus 1 and minus 5, that gives us minus 6. So these are the points that we'll use to graph this equation, y equals x minus 5. So let's start out with 0 minus 5. So 0 is the x and then negative 5 right here for the y. That's our first point, 1 minus 4. So we go 1 on the x and down minus 4 and then minus 1 and minus 6. So on the y-axis, minus 6. And you can see they line up. We could even just put a line through them. And this is the graph of the equation y equals x minus 5. Let's put arrows on the end here to show these extend into infinity, and then we can check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b is the y-intercept, so on the y-axis, b, that's where we're going to cross the y-axis. And we can see b right here is negative 5. So let's go down to negative 5 on the y-axis right there. That's our y-intercept. When we look at slope m, there's nothing in front of the x, so we assume that to be 1. It's not written, but it's there. And we could think about this as a fraction. 1 is the same as 1 over 1, but now we can say we have rise over run. So we can go up 1 and over 1, rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept, we go up 1, over 1, and there's our point, up 1, over 1. And we can keep doing this. You can see each point, up 1, over 1, is on our line. Likewise, we could go to our y-intercept and go down 1 and over 1 in the opposite direction. Down 1, over 1 in the opposite direction, and all of these points, they're going to be here on our line. So that's how you draw the graph for the equation y equals x minus 5. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.